okay so before i start this video i would like to say that this is all open source so on the left we have this interface and we ask the question what's the weather in seattle and on the right you can see that we have this mobile screen and our llm is going to control our mobile and let's go so what's the weather in seattle how can i help you what's the weather in seattle and then the llm is going to start so step zero is tap chrome okay step one would be to go to this link google.com search step two would be to go type what's the weather in seattle and then step three is to tap on the main results and the current task is complete next task for example is turn the light mode on for your phone so on the right you can see the llm automatically goes presses the home swaps down and it tries to find the airplane mode so two swipes step one and step two and then in step three it tapped the airplane mode and that's how it's done so this is just one example of this magma a foundation model for multimodal AI agents. Magma is the first agentic foundation models which is capable of understanding multimodal inputs and taking action in both digital and physical environments. Now to overcome limited pre-training data, the team introduced a set of mark and a trace of mark techniques. The set of mark techniques is basically it helps to understand actions in single images by identifying relevant elements example clickable buttons robot arms for example in the ui screenshot you can see that it can identify which buttons can be clicked for robot manipulation it can mark where a robotic arm should interact and in the human video frames it can highlight important objects or body parts involved in the action on the other hand, the trace of mark is to help the model predict future actions by understanding the sequence of movements. So, for example, in robot manipulation, we can see that it can show the trajectory of the robotic arm rather than making or marking a single position. Now, for the human action, it can map out how a person moves across frames. So whenever there is time involved, we use trace of marks and whenever there is space involved, spatial positioning, we use a set of marks. So you can see how the pre-training is done. On the left, you can see that we have this text tokenizer, which, uh, which converts natural text into tokens. And then we have this vision encoder, which converts the images and videos uh, with the help of vision encoders. And on the right, it can give out three things. It can give out spatial output, verbal output, and actionable output, all in the form of text. So for example, for this robot manipulation, it can give out the X, Y, uh, X, Y, W, and H coordinates, or it can give in terms of positions and angle for the robotic arm. Now you can see the evaluations, zero shot evaluations of the agentic intelligence. We can see that it scores 80 on the VQA V2, 66 on text vqa and you can see that across all the benchmarks minded this is an open source llm and across all the benchmarks for multimodal understanding you will, we see ui action grounding and navigation and robotic manipulation we see a pretty huge improvement for this model now we have seen this ui navigation let's see how this is done for this let's see another one so chat to navigate so we see here how can i help you so let's ask this question of send and message this to Bob Steve. Click send to complete. So step one is to tap share and create a new message. Then type the name of the person here, Bob Steve. Then enter the details, text, everything, and then click on send. So this is how we use the UI navigation can see these examples of robot manipulation we have magma here on the top and open vla on the bottom and you can see the performance is quite better for magma now the few shot fine tuning you can see that for magma it's huge there are different fine tunings on of magma and libero and magma on real robot you can see that the success rate has increased by a huge percentage for the few shot fine tuning you can see that again 
uh, the red color, which is Magma, has improved in improved performance in Google Robot and Bridge Data V2. You can see that it can it has very good spatial reasoning. So you can see that we have a maze here and it gives out the output. The correct answer is this. So these are some of the examples of video conversation examples. And you can see that I really want to win this game. Can you suggest the next move so you can understand the video itself and can suggest uh, moving the pawn to D4 to maximize our chances of winning. Now that I want to relax for a few hours in here. Can you suggest some things to do so you can watch TV? read a book and enjoy the view of the autumn forest. Now let's go and test out this model somewhere. Think of this model, what I can do is, since the model is already available on Hugging Face, we can go ahead to a cloud GPU and try this out. Before we go to the cloud GPU, we have spaces to check the demo itself. So if you go and upload this image of a CapCut video editor and ask it, how do I import my audio files? and click on submit this is going to load this model load this image and give out the answer now it doesn't give me a pretty good answer that's because i have not inserted the q word or q letter because we need to insert q to get the response so to import the video files go to the input tab on the left dog corner of the cap cut you can go ahead and see this space as well magma gaming here the LLM is playing this game and it's trying to eat the green. So let's go to the run pods and test this out. So I go to run pod. I need to select one GPU. Let's go with RTX. Let's click on edit template and I'm going to increase this to 100. Volume this to 100 and click on set overrides. That's done. We can now click on deploy on demand. Your pod is being built as we speak. Uh, we go to my pods, then we see that it's getting so it's ready. We click on Jupyter Lab. This will take me to the Jupyter Lab. Now click on terminal, and we need to do a few things. So, so apt get update and apt get upgrade. So we need to upgrade and update all these libraries that are available. Once we do this, we can now go to a Hugging Face library as well. We need to install Hugging Face libraries because uh, we are trying to get the models from Hugging Face. So pip install Hugging Face Hub. And then we are going to say Hugging Face dash CLI uh, space login. So this will ask for your keys here. You go to Hugging Face, go to access tokens and get one of the tokens so invalidate and refresh because i already have i copy this and i paste it here nothing will be visible but if you press enter then say no then you're going to see that the current active token is of geo which is the name that i placed on the hugging face now we clear everything and let's get started so we open up a python notebook here and uh, we first need to do a couple of installations so pip install dart vision pillow so we get back to the terminal, paste in this and let it install. So that should be pretty fast. Let's go back and take this version of the transformers that they have shared and uh, paste it here and just press enter. So this will install while this is installing. I can go back and uh, copy this code. So this is the entire code. I'm going to copy this to the Python notebook here and then i'm gonna do a little bit of change here this should be capital rgb and uh, i'm gonna make this true okay sorry i'm gonna make this true and this let's say it's 0.1 so we can run this now and uh, this is done so we need to run so we run this now this is going to pull the models so this is the imports that we're doing uh, and we are loading the model here, loading the processor here. We have this model, Magma 8 billion. If you go to the hugging face, you can see that this is the model in files and version. It's about 20 GB of space, the save tensors file. Next to go back, this is the saving to CUDA. 
this is the url of the image you can see this image that we have on which we are going to ask questions so this is the image uh, let's go back so we load the image convert it into this and uh, this is the context this is the prompt we're converting the prompt tokenizing it we're preparing the inputs and sending the inputs to CUDA these are the different hyperparameters for the generation then we load up the generation ID and response is being made and we print the response so this is downloaded uh, this should be done in just a second and let's wait for the results so it somehow clips the output so i changed this max new token to 256 now it should be enough for giving me the response so you can see that this is the response that we have so the entire image that we have is being described and it's pretty awesome so now you can what you can do is you can uh, implement streamlit ui you can go ahead and create an app or host it somewhere so they can use it properly so in the next video maybe i will give you a couple of examples so this is magma an ai foundation for multimodal ai agents of course remember to go back to run pods and delete the version that is running so i go and click on delete stop this uh, pod first and then once it stops make sure to delete this so that you don't have to incur any charges so try this out and i will see you next time